Hey diggers, it's Sunday morning. I'm back out here at the location of this um, schoolhouse from the 1800s. And you know, I mail detected this whole area, and of course, I didn't find a single coin, but I did accidentally discover either the privy or trash pit. Been here about 20 minutes, mostly cleaning the hole out from uh, all the rain we had this weekend. And so far, I've already gotten uh, a couple small bottles. Here's a another doorknob but this one's black and it is the cool just the coolest looking thing this is actually a lid I'm not sure if it's broken or if it's just missing a part but it says patented May 1836 on it so that's kind of cool and I just pulled my best bottle I think it's my first colored glass Lazelle's perfumes New York so that's really cool and it's a beautiful green color uh, up till now, all the glass I've pulled has either been, you know, common brown or clear glass. So I'm uh, here at the side of a farm that dates back to the 1830s. This is the old barn here. And uh, it's kind of interesting. So I kind of went out here in the field behind the barn. was looking around. And um, I can see some old foundation stones out here. And it's a real nice flat area right here. And you can kind of see some gravel rocks or something. There was something, stump structure. So I'm just working my way around, not really getting any signals. And uh, we've had a lot of rain lately. And I see something laying on the surface, but I'm not sure what it is. It could be a modern penny. It might be an Indian head. I don't know, but there, that's exactly how I saw it. don't know what it is I do not recognize oh wait oh my gosh don't tell me it's a flying eagle no no it's an Indian head okay oh man look at that there's where she was sitting well that's the first coin I have found out here and it was a surface find all right, get back with you if I find anything else. All right, I'm uh, still back behind this barn. It's been well over an hour since I found that uh, Indian head laying on the surface, and it turned out to be 1898. And I just got a real weak, iffy signal, and looks like it's another Indian head. It's pretty crusty. Don't know if I'll ever get anything off of it. Certainly not out here. I'll have to go home and clean it up. But, uh, that's all right. Okay, get back with you if I find anything else. Hey, diggers. Uh, I'm here at this, uh, old grange. And, uh, they got Tony Two Cent. He's on the other side of that tree over there. He found a, a walk in Liberty Half a little while ago. I just walked over here just now and got my first signal and it's a mercury dime so that's nice uh, it's nice when your first coin is a silver alright I'll get back with you alright diggers I'm back and I'm here with Tony two cent and he's standing where I found the merc and I came over here and I got a real deep signal about seven inches kinda of like a wheat penny it's a barber dime but it looks like it's in really good condition, so I am not going to rub it or wipe it in any way. And I'll have to clean it up and get back with you to uh, see what year it is. All right, get back with you.
All right, diggers, I'm back. I'm at the 1864 house. I've hunted here once before briefly and found a few Indians and uh, found a couple pieces of silver, but nothing really old. And uh, he just told me that on the other side of this driveway was an older house, and he owns that field out there, so I'm going to be looking out there too. All right, well, I'm going to get back with you when I get my first good find. Okay, i uh, been here about 15 minutes and found a um, stinking Lincoln down about six inches. And it just had a really odd sound. 1243. Uh, not too deep. It looks like one of those uh, Army marksmanship medals. Uh, that's the first one I've ever found of that. Don't know if it's uh, sterling or not. It, I'm not sure what they're made of. It, it's not corroded. So uh, maybe it is sterling. I don't know. I'll have to look at it more. All right. Back with you on the next good find. All right. Um, I'm here in this... Uh, older park and I've been here about 15 minutes a couple false alarms just had a real squeaky real iffy can you see that uh, it's a 944 down about eight inches and I, I was very difficult to lock on and I went ahead and dug it anyway and it looks like a mercury dime pretty worn. It's probably why it had such a low uh, signal. These mercury dimes, when they get thin, they tend to uh, sound more like a wheat penny. Alright, well that's good. First good find today. Get back with you in a minute. 